what's popping what's popping what's going on traders welcome back to my youtube channel so i've been getting a lot of comments from you guys asking me that yo what is this thing that you keep on talking about infected trends pro leads what well, it's the first time some of you hear about uh the term infected trend right so in this video we are going to be getting in deep um with this price action thing and i'm going to be revealing to you um why you should actually avoid infected trends because if you trade on an infected trend you're most likely to get manipulated right so if this is probably one of the most most important things you should basically add on your trading strategy i don't know which concept you're actually using whether you're a scalp or a swing trader and stuff like that but you know knowing what an infected trend is really going to be a game changer on that uh trading concept concept that you are basically using right so as i always say guys do click on that like button as it motivates me to continuously show up your each and every day and if you're not yet subscribed do subscribe and today's video sponsor is triple afx one of the best brokers you could ever find out there i'm currently using them so that is why i'm recommending them to you because of the past good experience i've been having with them you can sign up with them using the link that is in this video's description make your first deposit and enjoy that 100 percent deposit bonus with that being said let us head over to our charts so infected trend what do we mean by infected trend so i'm going to just sort of like give you guys what i mean by that right so basically we can see here we can see here that okay we've got that higher high right there we've got that lower low lower high lower lower low lower high right lower low eh, and all of a sudden bam you see price doing what you see price coming back and taking this previous lower high right so my question is if price was able to manipulate this lower high don't you think that it is still going to, to manipulate these lower highs as price is moving to the downward right but let us let us proceed let us proceed so we also see that okay uh, this lower high was actually taken out right got that lower low right there got that lower high right there We've got that lower low right there and all of a sudden again bam price comes back to do what to manipulate that previous lower high right oh, okay now nah, that's cool uh, we've got this lower low right there and all of a sudden bam price comes again to do what to manipulate this previous lower high oh, okay you still don't pay at, you still don't listen right you still don't listen uh you, you still wanna trade this trend right okay it's cool so let's proceed and see what then happened and then all of a sudden price then wants to start another trend okay that's cool right lower high and then all of a sudden bam this lower high is taken out too oh okay that's cool right that's a lower low that's a the lower high it's a lower low that's a, and all of a sudden bam price takes out what price takes out this previous lower high too we started where we started here and this thing has been happening this thing has been happening since 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 right okay you are like to yourself now nah, that's cool i don't really mind that right you see this lower low right there lower high right there also price comes back takes it out right okay that's cool again you see price forming a new series of lower lows lower highs and all of a sudden bam price takes out that previous lower high again on this structure this is an infected trend and it is wise for you to stay away from it why am i saying that it is wise for you to stay i'm going to show you the type of trend that you are actually uh th th that you are supposed guys stop disrespecting me in the comment section by the word actually i can't get it out of my mouth so <laughs> just playing with you all let's get on with it right so what you have to ask yourself is that if price was able to manipulate here do you think this was the last time this was the 
only time it, 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 it was actually money actually okay do you think that this was the only time it was manipulating that previous if it managed to to manipulate that previous lower high then this trend is infected then it means that this trend is going to be manipulated throughout bro it means that the those stops that are at this previous lower highs they are going to be taken out it's it, it's a bad trend to trade you are most likely to get stopped out here you are most likely to get manipulated out here stay away from a trend right it's it, it's simple to spot a manipulated trend right it's something like this right let us just say price was doing what price was remember aim for a perfect market structure if you are wanting to sell aim for clear lower lows and lower highs aim for what clear lower lows lower highs clear lower lows lower highs clear lower lows lower and when price comes back here to take out the stops of the trend traders that put their stop losses on that on their lower highs and when price does this this is already an, an infected trend because it it, it it shows you that okay the big banks are ex the big banks are involved in this curse the big banks are involved in this curse this is not a peaceful trend it means that the big banks are hungry they will do whatever to take your money so that is the first sign um that uh, that that you should take note of right when you are basically trading price action aim for a clear uninfected trend because if you trade an infected trend bro you're going to see flames you're going to say okay um price actually done what price basically broke out here right and then you do it and then you buy there you see and then only to find out that price just wants to manipulate that previous lower lower, lower high and then move to it's it's going to be chaos that's all i can say right so which kind of trend are you supposed to trade right which kind of trend are you supposed to be looking at bro right so first things first remember let us just look at this trend right let us look if it was infected and it if it was not infected and if it was not infected let us look at the benefits that you can basically get from this trend that that wasn't infected right so you can see here that let us just start uh where can we start let us just start here right you can see that, that that's our what that's our lower high that's our lower low right it's our what it's our lower high that's our lower low right clear lower highs and lower what low lower lows right that's our lower high right and that is what that's our lower high that's our lower low right that's our lower high that's our lower low right right that's our lower high that's our lower low that's our lower high that's our lower low right if you can look clearly at this trend there wasn't even a single time where, where by price went and took out the stops of this previous higher low and then proceeded it's 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 move to the upward no price was respecting this trend price this trend was a respectful one it was a non-infected trend right so this is the kind of trend that you should be aiming for what are the benefits of trading a non-infected trend the benefits of trading a non-infected trend is that you are most likely to not get manipulated let me show you how easy it is to trade a non-infected trend firstly you can see price came went on our flip zone do what look for your entry properties there price also came went on your what on your flip zone you do what you look for your entry properties there you enter oh, okay price also came on your flip zone right there right all oh price also came on your trend line right there right flip zone and your trend line you do what you look for, for, for um for your entry properties there you enter right price also came where price also came on your flip zone right there you do what you look for your entry properties you enter you're most likely to not get burnt you're most likely to not get stopped out when you are trading a non-infected trend because it's just going to simply make clear higher highs higher lows higher highs you wait for price to 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 to, to reach your um your flip zone you look for your entry properties you execute you wait for price to reach your trend line you look for your entry properties you execute 
right remember i said that i only trade two set types i only trade what a flip zone this is the flip zone set type right or i only trade the what the trend line set type right where i'm going to get my first touch second touch and third touch but what is most like what is mostly important about these two set types is that price is moving necessarily so far higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs I mean, um, uh, higher highs, higher lows, right? And then I enter all. I enter at a higher low. I take my profits away at the previous what? At the previous higher high, right? Also, uh, also on the trend line set type. What is most like? What is mostly important is that price is moving as so far. Higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. What? Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. I enter all. I enter at my higher low. I take my profits away at the previous what? At the previous higher high, right? Right, I take my profits at the previous higher high. Right, but if if the structure was something like this, stay away from something like this because stops were taken out there. Stops were taken out there. It's not a good trend for you to trade. You're going to do what? You're going to want to enter where there. You're going to want to enter where you're going to want to enter here on your first touch and then price will just stop you out you definitely get stopped out also you may want to enter there you, you may think that price is going to uh, respect the trend line but it's going to want to go away it's going to want to go to your previous higher low so stay away from infected trend if there's anything that you don't understand about this concept so before 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 you take a trade on any trend analyze the trend look at which time frame is moving the trend so that you can be able to 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 know which time frame you're supposed to enter you, you which time frame you're supposed to use when you are entering on that uh, on that particular trend and look whether the trend is clean look whether the trend is not infected right so that's it for this video guys hope you found value if you did do click that like button for me and if you're not yet subscribed do subscribe see you in the next one cool cool